25 miles to the southeast, Team's Dominator and Twistex joined forces with Alabama Task Force One. A methodical search is underway in the heavily populated area of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where an EF-4 tornado carved an 80-mile path of destruction. 43 people are dead, and there's an estimated $1 billion in property damage. Wow, look at this two by four right through the wall. Yeah. As part of our search and rescue mission, we are going house by house. We're trying to determine if anyone is left in the rubble. Mattress like this, you gotta lift it up. And you lift it up, you gotta take everything you can find in here, just lift it and make sure nobody can be under it. Wow. It's almost unfathomable. When looking out at places like Tuscaloosa, we need to work harder, we need to be more aggressive, we need to get those probe deployments in. Nothing. Another house cleared. A few blocks away, Team Dominator splits off with another search and rescue team to cover more ground. What we'll do is we'll get the tag, the VIN number, and the year, and we'll turn it in, and they'll uh, match it against any car that might be missing or somebody that's missing. I think it's easy to become desensitized to it a little bit when you see tornadoes all the time. So I always remind myself, these do affect people's lives. In 30 seconds, your life can change completely. Holy cow, guys, this is a massive tornado. This is as violent as it gets. Tornado is on the ground. We have to free. Jesus, help these people in Tuscaloosa. Seeing people's personal items thrown all over the place, houses completely destroyed, and knowing that people died at the place that we were standing just a few days before has given us a much deeper motivation to understand these tornadoes. Our team feels a huge sense of obligation uh, to take our research to the next level and continually improving our research equipment and, and measuring this data that can eventually save the lives of the people in the path of these storms.